Welcome to this edition of Collecting Small Diecast Land Rovers and in this one we're going to be taking a look at some Kararama models that we picked up from the internet that um, we didn't really even know they existed but why don't you join us and uh, if you like um, why don't you uh, consider subscribing to the this YouTube channel and also to our Facebook group where full details can be found uh, the models we discuss and we also have a website database where all model variations are listed with pictures and full information links to the Facebook group and the YouTube channel can be found from our website and that will be featured at the end of this video there's a link there if you follow that um, that will take you to a whole world of information but enough waffle, let's get on with the first one. Right, all through these videos we've been saying that um, Kararama have made models for other companies. And uh, this is a case in point. Now, it's listed as Kitahara World Car Collection. And um, it also has the scale Toys Club Kararama. On the back you get a nice picture of various models. So the one that immediately takes our eye as Land Rover enthusiasts is this one. But these aren't all the models that produce. So um, this one cropped up on the old eBay. So let's open her up and See what we got. Right, that's what you get. And in it, is this pickup. Mm. The, the pickup is familiar, it's one that we've seen. Um, as far as I can see, there's nothing unusual about it other than it's got the um, the, the type 2 vent panel and uh, registration WXX etc it does not feature a yes it does it's got a tailpipe so this is a model that um, They've obviously produced for these. Now the thing that stands out straight away is the writing on the uh, the base here. Um, normally uh, Kararama style just has uh, Hongwell and what the model is. This one gives you a bit more detail. It says um, Kitahara World Car, World Car Selection number 046 Land Rover Series 3. 109 and to be honest it, it's quite a nice version um, when they've gone over onto these revised vent panels you tend to find the quality of the grille and other features of the model are um, a much poorer quality this one appears to be a lot more defined now Let's unpack it for you. There we are. Can you see? Do you see what I mean about the um, the grills? Really nice and the lights. Uh, it, it it seems to have been built to just a bit better quality. Um, we've got Type B wheels, but they're the nicely defined wheels. Um, they're not the the real crude ones which some of the later Carrera products displayed. So. Um, they seem to have made some effort with this one. Um, unpainted base, which is um, something that we've um, we found on a lot of later models. Now, just off camera, I'm going to undo the base so we can take a look. Right, so it's a standard um, screw fix to the base, and uh, lo and behold, it's the standard... Um, Hongwell Land Rover Series 3 109 so it's um, nothing special on the bottom 
the plastic looks slightly more grey. It's more grey to the plastic um, where the wheel hubs are. It could be the trick of the light, but it certainly looks grey to me. So, yeah, these have come off a different production line. Um, and they look quite nice. As to how many more there are in the series, I do not know. Um, you also get a little leaflet with it, which just bear with me while I unfold it. There we are. Um, <clears throat> just a bit of information. Unfortunately, it's all in Chinese. Don't know who this chap is. Maybe somebody can enlighten enlighten me as to what the volume 4 means don't really know um, on the back it's got toys club tin toy museum in yokohama yokohama so yeah uh, well this is a retail outlet or an out and out museum i do not know but um, yeah really good quite pleased with that one um, don't come up on eBay very often um, but uh, yeah I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for them because um, they are good quality really good quality um, if you just bear with me one second right this is the one of the previous um, models that we've had of this vehicle um, same registration and yeah in the main it's it's, it's pretty much the same um, the quality is quite high I don't think Oxford have released this in the current range in this livery so um, they have done one or two of the others and unfortunately the the area around the radiator grill is very crudely crudely done uh, which is a disappointment and uh, they've done away with the individual lights etc on them so quite when these were done for kitahara i've no idea that i can't see a date on the package or anything so um they could have done these a few years ago when the mouldings were more fresh as it were um, it could be that the mouldings are getting pretty worn uh, they've, they've produced these for so long so um, you know we could be being a bit harsh on uh, on Oxford and that uh, because um, eventually equipment wears out and would it justify completely redoing the moulding probably not for the number that they sell anyway that's the um, Kitahara World Car Selection um, Series 3 pickup with frames in the darker blue right we're going to stay with this um, particular model these are the ones we've got or that we know of there's always been a bit of an anomaly with this one because we've got this one has the painted um, underneath so all the uh, the axles and the uh, exhaust is painted silver but it has type B wheels so although it's early it's not the earliest and the other thing it has is a painted um, vent panel so that would suggest it's an early model. Then we have this one, which has type A wheels, but features um, a silver vent panel and unpainted undercarriage. So that would suggest it's not one of the earliest ones, which is bizarre. Um, unless they found a supply of wheels and decided to use them up on this model there's no signs these have been tampered with so they're not that somebody's made one model out of two etc then we come to this one which is type B wheels um, 
silver vent panel and unpainted beneath so that would sort of come round about there this one we have is a bit of an, um, an odd one we think it's code 3 this um, load bed at the back uh, does appear to be um, something somebody's added at a later date but um, we kept it because there's, there's no guarantees but uh, given how plain it is it does appear that uh, that has just been added by a third party um, if we just open it up and remove this load bed trying to do it with one hand you can see where the the holes are for the frames it would suggest this model has had frames and they've been removed at some point but um, so we suspect that's a code 3 the one we were just looking at the um, the Kitter um, Kitter Haro model um, where does that fit in well I would suggest it fits in somewhere after it would fit in there we think just move that out of the way um, the reason I'm saying that is because it has got uh, unpainted undercarriage type 2 wheels and it's the type 2 vent panel the simplified one so we think that's going to fit in there so that seems to be the timeline for them but why isn't there one with um, type air wheels painted exhaust and painted vent panel well there is <clears throat> I spotted this on the internet it was with a group of other models it was in France and uh, as I've mentioned the postage costs was quite horrific horrific to get it so I didn't and um, I took note of it and um, a few months later one appeared in the UK in another batch of models which were quite reasonably priced so we purchased it but as you can see the main difference is it's got blue wheels not only has it got blue wheels it's got blue type air wheels with the blue vent panel and the painted underneath and the two rivets in the rear that is the first version didn't even know there was one with blue wheels never seen one until saw the one in France and then by chance another one turned up in the UK a few months later so that explains why this one never appeared with type air wheels because when they changed from type air wheels to type B they did away with spraying the wheels because obviously they could just get silver wheels in and apply them to whatever model livery they were doing whereas if they were blue they were specific to this one so it cut down on uh, production costs having a spare set of wheels so there we have it um, do we have any more in this particular um, style I don't know um, you see we with it being a pickup with frames you've taken out the equation of the the back wheel uh, the back window the rear window of the soft top being either painted or clear so that's not applicable here so that's obviously going to cut down on number of variants that uh, are likely so we could well have picked up just about every one uh, something of note is they all appear to have the WXX registration not seen any with the GPX so it's 
possible that that could be the only combination that's missing from this uh, this lineup. But uh, who knows? Again, have a look at the ones in your collection. You never know. You just never know. Right, that'll do it for this one. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please consider in, consider subscribing. And um, don't forget, there's the website and the Facebook group. Uh, till the next one. Happy collecting.